I'm Ross. And I'm Heather. Happy St. Patrick's Day today. We're wearing our green. Um, this is like an army green, but I got green on it. Hey, it's still a shade of green. It does count, though. It sure does. Okay, we're here to tell you today um, the question we get asked all the time, constantly. It feels like every single call, people are asking us, how did I get this virus on my computer? Almost every single call. Isn't it? Um, this is a question you really, you really can't answer because it's like a needle in a haystack. These come from usually overseas, and you can't really track them. No. They're almost untrackable. Um, I can tell them, you know, out of date Java, out of date Flash, make sure your Flash is up to date, your Java. Facebook. Uh, you get viruses on Facebook. The videos on Facebook. The videos on Facebook. When they you may click... be funny, but they yeah. bring in viruses. Yeah, vid I think videos do, do they? Yeah, they, they do. Okay. Um, what else does it? Um, email, be careful. Games. Games. Outlook, be careful, make sure you have all your security patches in Outlook and all your Windows updates on your computer. What about the games? Games are, I don't, you, I don't play games because pl games, it feels like I'm, I'm getting something downloaded on my computer and I'm getting aggravated with it. I we don't. have a lot of older clients though that play games and then we end up with a lot of viruses on their machine. They don't realize how it happens because the, the games have ads in them and you don't realize you're clicking on an ad right. and you're downloading a virus. So basically they're free for a reason. Mm -hmm. They have to make some money someplace. So, um. There is some stuff, uh, don't get me wrong, there is some stuff out there that's free that's really good. Open source stuff. It's called open source. Um, in Firefox, the browser, there's different things that are free. I use KeyPass. There's all kinds of you know different programs we use that, that are free. And they don't have ads. But try to talk to someone. Do research on the program. Google it. Go to Google. Type in a program before you install it on your computer. Is it good? Is it going to harm me? Does it come with freeware and all that other garbage? If it does, don't put it in. It's not worth it. Spend the 10 bucks and get the pay-per-pay per version, usually. Um, some cases the free version is good, but pay-per version. Spend the 10 bucks. These guys, you know, these programmers work hard to write these programs. And when you realize that your computer is slow, you have a pop-up, call someone right away or do a cleanup on your computer. Do a scan. Do something because... I, I, tell, I tell them all the time, my, my customers, I'm like, well, you know, is it worth spending $50,000? and get an attorney for three years mm -hmm. to get your identity back because that can happen really quick. Uh, we're not trying to scare you, we're just trying to tell you what we deal with every day, mm -hmm. how, how what works for us and what we, we deal with. Um, so basically, viruses are viruses and you can get them from almost anywhere and um, you know, your own website. Do you, do you want to tell them how important it is to catch it right away because right. Then, you know, you right. end up with a, a reformat, you lose your data, you need to be very careful with that stuff. Yeah, back up your data. There's a new virus, it's called the encryptor virus, I believe. Um, Joe, the other technician here, wrote about it and it encrypts your files, so it's all encrypted. We'll talk about that another time. But and You can also read about it on our blog. Yeah, go to the blog, um, ringgeek.com forward slash blog. Um, There's lots of helpful information and articles on there. Any questions that you can have, you had, you can also email us. We can also you know, try to help you out. We can try and help you. If it's something. too bad, you know, we can call, call us. We'll do a cleanup on a computer. We got to charge you, but it, usually we can help you out pretty quick. Um, but that's it. Basically, that's it. You know, be careful where you go. You know, and a lot of times, if your computer's running slow, it's running slow for a reason. Uh, the reason could be you have malware, spyware, viruses in there. Uh, malware and spyware, they're all a type of virus. It's, everything's a virus, so don't let that all confuse you. Malware and spyware and all that stuff, because it's a virus. Mm -hmm. um, it's not all harmful, but oh, uh, most of it is. Oh, we need to talk about the FBI virus. FBI virus? There's an FBI virus that, that's out there that, I think it's ransomware, that wants like $300. Don't pay them. Yeah, don't pay the, the FBI Please, virus. Don't, don't pay them. give them your credit card. Don't give any anybody your credit card that says FBI. And if your webcam, your webcam can turn on on your computer, and uh, and look, you'll see a picture of yourself there, and you'll get all scared. They'll try to trick you and send a money order. Go to Walmart. Send. Don't do it, don't guys. Do Come on. It's common sense. You're gonna actually pay a criminal to get your d data back. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, it, it, there is a virus, an encryptor virus, where you can get a code and get your data back, but I, I, would, I still wouldn't do it. I'm not gonna pay a criminal that just messed my computer up. Well, um, it has nothing, to do, not as much to do with their data, but you know, they have your, their credit cards. Yeah, well, they yeah. can always send a money order in That's from true, Walmart, true. but but well, really, you're gonna do that? I wouldn't. Well, the Massachusetts police station just had a news where they did it. The police station had the encryptor virus and 
they actually, the, the police station in the state of Massachusetts just paid these guys like $900 to get their data back. And they got their data back. So there you go. But they were that desperate. The police station did it. The whole station was wiped out. The servers, uh, workstations, everything wiped out. So Even the police. So... It, nobody is exempt from it. Yeah, so we're not trying to scare you. You know, computers, we haven't even got a virus in a while. Personally, I haven't got a virus. You in... better knock on some kind of wood somewhere. This is glass. Knock on your head. A sheetrock. There it is. There's a wood right there. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, happy St. Patrick's Day. We're going to make this a short, quick video. We're done. Um, and you know what? Don't freak. Ring a geek.